like your personality in, in writing? Like, off rip, seeing, man. Like, that nigga, first off, he got big ass ears, bro. <laughs> yeah, Already, yeah, bro. <laughs> you can tell, bro. I hope, yep. That's yours. Off that's rip, yeah, that's definitely me, bro. Definitely. <laughs> Fuck it. Is that, is that scary, though? Because you could be like, your kids are gonna pick up stuff from you. Like, they're gonna pick up your bad and you're good. Like, you're like, I guess, you know? bro. I guess, man. I, I can sit here and be like, oh, yeah, I picked up, you know, bad from my dad and good. But, bro, I've, I've learned to find the humor in anything yeah. for my dad, you know what I mean? But my dad was also, he's also that person when it's time to be serious, it's time to be fucking serious. Yeah. You know what I mean? You but, ra- do you feel like you raise, you start raising your kid? Like you've been raised, like do you do like eh. you just kind of go with what you know, or you I kinda... go with what literally, man. It's every day. It's like life is just literally just a long ass list of choices, bro. Like if as long as I'm here in the in the you know what I mean, yeah, like I'm yeah, here yeah, with yeah. my kid, and we're really like connecting, where I'm really getting getting to know this person as a person, not me. You know what I mean, like not just the McCann, but like as a as Ryden, like. Just as long as I'm aware of that every day, like, ain't no surprises, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ain't no, like, so, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what so I mean? Since, since just... you had writing, like, has it changed your music? Like, do you feel like it changed the way you make music or write music at all? Um, nah. Nah? Nah. That's the, I kind of, I expected it to. Did you, a little, yeah, like, you or think? Just, nah, though. Like, I'm still me, you know what I mean? I'm still me. I just, I have a son, you know? And, like, I want, I, I guess that's what I want to, like, show my son like be you bro like just because i you know me and your mom had you like don't mean we're gonna stop being us like right. that's what i wanted to like that's the type of legacy i want to leave on you know what i mean yeah i i just i heard uh uh what is it uh, on your new one on a pink yeah and uh, i know i was reaching a new music friday i was like <laughs> yo i was like yo all right so he said take white Fix it with red, it's pink. That means he's his kid. He's talking about his kid. <laughs> Bruh, that's funny, right. though. I like that shit, though. I don't know. I, I fuck with that know. shit. I don't know. I was like, I mean, if it? I wanted to, I could put, you know, I have my lyrics on Rap Genius, but, like, I could put annotations. What's can, the point can of I, that? Can I add annotations? Can I add, like... You could. I'm going to make that. That's going to be... With they, they might not get verified, though. <laughs> it might be some off-the-wall shit. Yeah. Unless that shit's, like, extra hard. I didn't think of it. I'm like, yeah. oh, shit. Let me... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, uh, man. Speaking <laughs> yeah, of the project, man... man um, so you just dropped, I mean, you, I mean, did you play, release all the books in one year? Is that? Uh, no, no, I actually, um, I dropped three of them. I'm treating it like a series, you know what I mean? I didn't want to like put it all in one year. I just wanted to let it roll out. But um, basically, Earth, Water, and Fire were released in 2017. And then um, Wind just came out and I got one more. Called, you got one? Uh, yeah. What's the last? Five. Void. Oh, Book of Void. Shit. Yeah book of nothingness so if you want to learn about the books you go back to our, our other interview we did a skype but i want to talk kind of like land on uh wind because that was the last one you just put out yeah um and obviously we've seen like each one have this obvi- like obviously on the outside the theme yeah what does the wind represent you know because i know with book of fire there's a lot of i'm gonna this, give you the cheat codes yeah um, give me a cheat code give me a cheat code. you know you know what kanjis are like the Basically, like the alpha, the written alphabet okay. of Japanese. Okay. You write wind. It could also be uh, translated to tradition, and that was a play on words that the original author Miyamoto Musashi. That's right. that's the play on words that he used. But he basically, in the whole book of wind, he describes his sword fighting style compared to all the other schools at the same time, and just basically showed where they're lacking and why they're yeah. not good. Some schools only focused on the the image, you know what I mean, of of what a school is supposed to be, and forgot about the actual art, the fight. The essence of it. So, yeah, you know what I mean. The essence about the essence, right. the spirit of the of the thing, rather sure. than you know the superficiality. You can't get caught up in that. But mm-hmm. um, or you know, some people use certain types of weapons only. He was like, use anything you can. It, you know what I mean? Like, don't be over to be overly good at one thing could be your your weakness it could turn into your weakness you know what i mean so like you know it just minor shit like that the, really the, spoke to me you know what i mean that shit that shit that whole book spoke to me bro and um i wanted to pay homage to it type shit and uh honor yeah, you really did you, you honored for sure that, Thanks, that's, bro. that's the one word i would say you did that you did it justice thanks man that. 
Now, with the win, like, so you, you read that book um, and you see, you know, tradition, obviously. How do you go about, like, with wins specifically, how, how did you go about, like, so you have the concept and how do you start making the tracks? How do you start getting to the actual single song? Uh, I definitely, um, I definitely shop around as far as, like, producers go, beats go. I definitely have a sound in mind for each of these. Like, man, you might notice, like, Book of Earth is the introduction to the whole series. So Earth isn't really, as a project, isn't its own sound. Right. It's, there's oh. five songs. There's a song that sounds like Truly Earth, which is in due time. That's like the true to, true okay. to concept Earth track. Then there's Coca Leaves. That's more fire. You know what I mean? You got uh, a Pastel video, and a video is fire, by the way. Thank you, bro. Yeah. But uh, you know what I mean? Each one of the songs in Earth, they're basically like an introduction to the whole thing to show you what it's going to sound like. And then when we get into more, you know, wavy, deep, like, you know, synth, synth heavy, like. Do you, do you try to get, like, one producer to do, like, at least that, that whole project? Or? Not all the time. Like, sometimes I could piece together different beats or have somebody make, like, it just depends on, like, the sound. Like, you know, I use uh, Lord Fubu a lot on water because that, sh- that nigga shit is wavy, man. It's the rhythm, like, the bounce. Mm-hmm. Like, it just, it ooze water but then fubu also makes hard ass hard hidden beats you know what i mean like the real trap vibe like super heavy 808 like and that some of that ended up on fire like uh he produced um smoke part two and okay. uh okay. loaded and uh don't loaded. repent three songs off yeah. that you know what i mean so basically it's, it's the sound it's like you know what i mean i i hear it and i feel the vibe and uh what's the first song i know on where wind? it goes you know what i mean what's the first song on uh wind it's, um, empathy. Empathy. Why do you start it off with that? Um, I feel like that one, uh, it set the tone as far as like what the mindset was for the tape. Like, it's not like I'm above anybody, but like, I just want to compare my shit to what you're bumping and, you know what I mean, see where it's lacking, see where the other shit's lacking, you know what I mean? And that's what Wind is about. It's about, you know, not only celebrating different cultures and different traditions, but you know, kind of weighing them out, weighing yeah. them out and seeing, you know, who's really who's really got got the answers, type yeah. shit, you know. And, and, and can you uh, you got any bars from that one? You wanna shit? Uh, I mean, I was living so wrong. I wasn't thinking about y'all. Fuck you, bitch. Then some stacking money till it's long. I should have saw you feeling hating on me because I'm winning. You pussy need penicillin. Don't feed you niggas, you gremlins. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Oh, shit. Hey. Gremlins. Hey, oh, look at you. We play that shit, nigga? Nah, y'all get, y'all get real fucking nasty after the bag. Ooh, Ooh man. G shit. That's, Yo. That's what I'm on right now, bro. How did how did your flow, how did, how has your, how did your flow develop and how has it developed, like, like, lately? I mean, shit, bro. I just, I always had a, a knack for rhythm, bro. Like, Honestly, I could really hear a beat and feel like what it's missing and just like hit that vibe. Like whatever that beat needs, like I'm gonna try to like provide it type shit. Cause like, I don't only like, like certain beats, you know what I mean? Based on, you know, what you heard already. Like, it's just, it's, like just it's effortless now, bro. Like yeah. I just, you know what I mean? It's just, I can hear something and just be like, oh bet, like this sounds good. Like, yeah. this sounds good. I feel good. like your voice is a part of the, like a lot, like yeah. the song. Like I mean, your voice is an instrument, I feel like. In a sense Appreciate that it, that. It fills a lot of the, some of the like the mid layers of like I mean obviously the low with your voice, but I, I just think it goes well with a lot of the music you put on. Like, Appreciate like, it. A lot bro. of the production you yeah. pick, um, and obviously you know beat selection is like, every it's like everything. Yeah, right? it's I mean like a big shit. Part of your shit. Isaac, I, I, uh, the surgeon man, he'll he'll tell you like, it don't matter where your fucking beats are. Like, we will find them shit. It don't matter if it got 10 views or 100 fucking thousand views. We will find that gym you're sitting on and selling for fucking, you know, for free or whatever the hell you be doing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. but we, we definitely, every producer, we, producer that we work with, like, you know, hey, like, what's your price? Like, you know, we, we like to talk money first because, you know what I mean? A lot of people would just be looking around for freebies and shit, yeah. shitting on producers. Them boys work hard, man. Like. You guys have dealt with a lot of yeah. the producers and stuff. I mean, with dealing with Dom. Like, first off, what is like? I know you guys have been around a lot of these circles. Like, what is some of like like the furthest you've gone like with Backhouse and you guys, like Dom, 
You guys been in like record label meetings, like talk to them? Like, where are you? Me personally, nah. Um, as far as Dom, um, I don't think he's had a chance to yet, but there's definitely some shit working, man. Yeah. Um, you know. What the fuck, Russ? They, if they, if they watching, they watching. If Russ, not, Russ like, tweeted him. How, did, how did that happen? How did. I think everybody wants to know. We, bro, we don't know. The Russ we don't tweet. know. How did the Russ Bro, tweet we happen? don't know. We want to know. Bro, somebody must have put Russ on. Shout out. Shout out. Hey, Ooh, yeah, like, appreciate that, bro. Send that, bro. Tell us, man. How did it happen? <laughs> bro. I, everybody went crazy. Like, what did you think when you first saw that? Like, what? Like, I was just like, bet. They were <laughs> yeah, like, bet. So He's like, yeah, bet. Right. That's what's like, up. Done, man. <laughs> That's what's up. I, man, listen, like, me personally, like, I'll tell anybody, bro. Like, if you got some hard shit and I hear the shit and I'm fucking with it, I'm going to tell you. I don't give a fuck if you in front of, you know, bitches, fucking, you know, label exec. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, who I'm in front of or whatever the fuck. Like, I'm going to let you know that shit's hard, bro. Yeah. And, like, there be people, bro, who be like, damn, like, oh, that shit hard. Like, oh, uh, I can't, like, vibe <laughs> to it. Oh, I see you. Like, you know what I mean? And it's, it don't got to be like that, bro. We all making music. We yeah. all got the potential to make millions, bro. Like, this is this is what we're in. You know what I mean? You could, we could spend it fighting each other or we could just build each other up in an honest, organic way, not that fake love shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Do you feel like you're coming back to a lot of love in Southwest Florida? Hell yeah. yeah. I, just, I mean, shit. It's my, bro, my family just been hella supportive. When I wanted to move out here, they're like, shit, go get it. I said, hey, you know, I think it's ready to, you know, it's time to come back for a little bit and, you know, build something. They're like, come on. Like, you know? We yeah. won't go and tell you nothing, like, you know, that's, that's like I feel like I, I, G shit proved a lot of a lot of things to myself, type shit, to where like, you know what I mean? I know my family's. You proud. think it's symbolic that everybody's like, you know, I feel the love, bro. Offer it. I feel like this, this is, there's a symbolism in you putting out, just putting out wind, and then you moving back, and like, I think this is like a cool symbolism that might be like where you're at in the, of the projects, like, yeah. cause that, maybe that last one, you know, is like. What's yeah, because I mean, I definitely recorded uh, Earth when I moved here. Like that, all of the, you know, all of the Book of Five Rings so far has been recorded in, uh, you know, mixed and mastered in L.A. Yeah. And, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times when I was writing that shit, like I was homeless, you know what I mean? Like bouncing around from hotel to hotel, like just yeah. trying to get into something solid, you know what I mean? Get into a place, but... Yeah, bro. So that shit you hear, like if you connect, like that's real, bro. Like that's that's the shit I was feeling, bro. Wow, man. You know, I just I just kind of spit what the fuck I'm going through, like, you know. Shit, that that I think that's that's fire, bro. I I, I think the whole side was Florida once they hear that you're coming back. I think it even go crazy. I just think it's so per- it's perfect timing, bro. I was I was excited to hear that. How are we gonna convince him to come back? Like, how are we gonna, <laughs> well, <laughs> how are we gonna do that? He's a little bit the last piece, nigga. We got, boy, we got Nate hey, back. Bruh, we got everybody. My boy, my boy in his element. You know what I mean? I got, I got to connect over here. Fucking nah, running, nah. running shit over here, bro. For I'll sure, rip. for that sure. We gonna put out his interview too. But, um, interview Matthew. Yeah, man. A lot of fucking talent. Yeah, that's, how, that's what, the, what's your perception of like? Because a lot of stuff has been happening with Southwest Florida, and you're all the way over here. Like, what's your perception about what's going on? You just see it from a distance. Like... I see, man. I see. <laughs> I see a lot of fuck, bro. I see a lot of fuckery. You, you know what I mean? Fuckery? I see a lot of good shit. You okay. know what I mean? This, what fuck this, you this, this city, this city is. I want to know what fuckery. Is. <laughs> I want to know what fuckery. Is. You go, hey, we want to nah, know, bro. Like, just man, you know, you, 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 you niggas that are mad. You know, what I mean? whoever you don't interview, gonna be salty with you. Yeah, of you course. know what I mean? Yeah. Whoever I don't want to, you know what I mean, work with, gonna be salty with me. You know what I mean? But like at the end of the day, just that shit don't matter, yeah, it bro. Don't, it don't matter. <laughs> but it's funny, you know what I mean? I, it's, uh, okay, well, it's you see, that's some it's fuckery. Humor. What about the what about the dope shit? You see, you dope shit. I see, I see y'all doing y'all shit, bro. Yeah. Throwing shows, yeah. fucking getting people energized out out of their fucking chairs, yes, bro. bro. Off their asses, man. Like we sure. can have some fun. Oh, bro. We, turn the we definitely up. gonna do a show. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely happening. Whatever. It's gonna happen. Whatever. But, um, Anything before we get out of here, man? Like, I'm glad I got to pull up on you in LA. See, meet your meet your kid, Raiden. 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 Get that shit right. Right. <laughs> where, 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 where? I know. You know I'll play close. it, bro. I'll play where it. Does, where does Raiden, Raiden come from? Um, bro, I've always liked that name. Like a lot of people, be like, oh, like Mortal Kombat. That's but yes. like, nah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's where I first heard the name. But honestly, from uh, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, you know shit. that that Which character, Raiden, the the ninja, the cyborg ninja. 
Bro. Yeah. Okay. The blonde dude. Yo, bro. I, that's, there, bro. That's my dude, bro. Jack the Rip, that man, bro. G shit, that shit, that whole. Is there a game better than Metal Gear, bro? Nah. Like, and even the no. first one was like, the first, bro. Like oh the my any, God, yeah, bro. bro. Like that fucking Super Nintendo shit, bro. That shit was legendary. Oh my God. Or was it a? Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, was that it, was a. Uh, was it play? Sega? I think it was Genesis. I don't know. Damn, that's, bro. It goes I back. Know it goes, I didn't it goes know it back. Went that far, yeah, no, nah, it goes back. Not just like that first Metal Gear Solid. There was like Metal Gears. Like, oh, and shit. you played that old, like, old nah, ass. I think fucking I jumped on, like, my, fucking, I might have jumped on, on PlayStation, to be honest. Like, the first PlayStation? Yeah. That was solid. That Metal was Gear solid, solid, bro. Yeah. That shit, bro. I grew up, like. And the storyline was fucking fire. That game, bro, there's no game better than that one, bro. Like, just the fact that, like, you couldn't be the boss unless you, like, put the controller in the second port. Nigga. Like, that so shit, precision. you just broke the fourth <laughs> wall. Like, you know what I mean? Or, or the fact, like, I remember, I remember my uncle was playing it. He was older than me at the time. I was just watching him play it type shit. But like, bro, he was stuck. He was like, where the fuck do I go? And then like, you had to look at the back of the game yeah. on the actual, like the case of the game. And it has the guy's number that you need to call. <laughs> but like, if you didn't read that, yeah. bro, like you stuck. You stuck. You stuck. And this was the 90s. This wasn't like internet forum days. Like, oh, I'm stuck on Metal Gear. Nah, Solid. Hell. Like. <laughs> You know what I mean? mean? Instant answer, nah, bored. nigga. You're gonna, like, you're gonna be bored one day to be like, nah, you're gonna be on Windows 95, oh, fucking, <laughs> yeah, bro. But nah, G shit. That's that's where that. Yo, what's up with um? But it's uh, I've always fuck with that name, bro, and I yeah. really fuck with Japanese culture type shit. Like, yeah, for sure. fuck with that. So I definitely wanted to honor that. What, do you feel? Yeah. All right, what's up with every? Um, I feel like everybody's jumping on the anime wagon here. Like, <laughs> bro, fuck, man. I hate those niggas, bro. <laughs> bro, like, I was, bro, I Dragon Ball. Bro, I was a nigga in high school, like, watching, like, reading uh, manga, like, the the comic books, like, the Japanese comic books that they make the yeah, anime yeah. from. Like, what bro. Was you read backwards? I was reading manga in high school, like, niggas was like, what is you doing, bro? Uh, I mean, like, I was one of those What the fuck niggas. is you doing? I was like, yo, what the fuck is that, bro? Like, I was that guy. I didn't he was like, hey, you trying to go like that? Like, no, I'm, I'm in the library. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Skipping through, like you know what I mean. Just I was that dude. Like I, Damn. I got along with everybody though. My my Asian homies put yeah. me on that manga real quick. Yeah. And everybody's like, "Yo, I love anime." Yeah, anime. bro, G shit, man. Like me, <laughs> me and Dom, <laughs> me and Dom are some crazy fucking anime heads, bro. Alex too, but um, that's fine. Yeah, bro. Now it's now it's cool. Now it's cool. I, I'm not gonna lie. I applaud. Now it's fucking I applaud cool. y'all because y'all really switched it up, bro. I literally, I never made, fun, I never made fun of anybody, but I was always like, yo, like, what's the, what's the thing about that, bro? And now it's like, girls be love you, like, you want, Man. you want to animate and chill? I'm like, they y'all do that? All right, bet. Let that. me start. Let me VR, start. VR, chill. <laughs> VR <laughs> chat. Bro, start watching some anime, fuck but. that. But um, nah, bro. Like, that's man. obviously influenced your music, right? Yeah, for sure, bro. For sure. Oh, your artwork. Some about man, just Japanese, like art. Like, it's so like, I don't know, it's so captivating to me, man. Like, in America, they were making certain types of cartoons. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it was very like, okay, safe to consume. Like, you know, just you know, have kids go wild, just some action here and there. But like, anime, like, turned that shit on its head, bro. Like, it just felt like it was more geared for like adults. You know, yeah. like real life shit rather right. than just like. You know some funny cartoon shit like. Yeah. What's your favorite one? Or favorite? <sighs> Dragon Ball Z for the nostalgia yeah, of for it. Sure. Naruto for like the whole storyline. Like that to me was like one of the best fucking storylines ever. Yeah. Like, and they got a lot of real uh, like ancient Japanese religion like lined through it. Like it's like laced with like kind of like real ideas and real like yeah. names and shit. It's cool, bro. But um. Yeah, man, definitely, definitely Naruto. Bleach is dope too. Bleach. Bleach is underrated as fuck. So hard. They stopped airing the anime because like it fell off. In you Japan. know, my shit was the, the Adult Swim one. What's the Samurai one? The, 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 it had a bunch of hip hop music in it. Uh. Ah, oh, fuck. I Black forgot. Samurai. Yeah, I think. Bro, it was that there. shit. Oh yeah. my god. You know, Black Samurai um has elements of Book of Five Rings in it. Yeah. Yeah. When you hear the master giving him like a lesson. On what to do, they they took that from the book Book of Five Rings. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. So oh fucking, damn. Yeah. So like. Okay. You know, just like when he's talking to his mentor or whatever the fuck, like whoever trained him how to like, you know, sword fight, like the the black dude, and that. But yeah, bro. 
That shit's dope, man. Especially Samuel Jackson and shit. Yeah, I mean, he come fucking on. he killed it. Even bro. though what's the other show that it was more of like the it was um by the people. <sighs> Boondocks. Boondocks. Yeah. Yeah. No, they definitely. Boondocks. You can they tell canceled Bo- like eight times though. Yeah, they fucked up. Not them. It was probably oh, it probably had to do with first three seasons was some shit. Well, I know it's some bullshit. They tried to get somebody else to write it or something like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, bro, you could definitely tell like they're they're big on Japanese culture, yeah. like. Mm. Wu Tang influence. Oh, for yeah, Wu Tang changed the whole thing. Bro, yeah, Wu that shit cool. Wu Tang personally changed my like perception of like what what like a group could do. You know what I mean? I know it, it did for everybody, but like I really uh, when we were starting back house, like man, we used to spit on Wu Tang beats like specifically. I, I you know what I mean? That's like bro, like habitual. It was like a fucking boot camp in there. You know what I mean? But like. Cause those cypher style beats, you know what I mean? The way RZA just like mm-hmm. fucking looped a fucking ill ass sample and just fucking just let it ride, bro. And the whole click is just smashing that in their own way. And like that's what I really... ciphered a lot back up. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. hell yeah. Fuck, you couldn't bro. shut us up, bro. There'd be you know people coming to party and shit and just like, relax and vibe, and they'd be like, God damn. Bro. I wonder we gotta do a back up. Niggas, sense. you know, g- girls like, oh y'all, y'all ain't y'all can't rap. Y'all can't, y'all yeah. ain't on no shit. Like, yeah, <laughs> da, 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 da. Look, bitch. Bro, well, man, hey, before we get out of here, man, just, you got anything that, you know, what, what, what is your message to the people that are going to be watching this? You're about to come back. What's your <laughs> message to the fans, to the friends, to the family, uh, to Southwest Florida uh, before you come back, bro? Shit, man. Uh, go cop them projects on iTunes, Spotify. Support the local people trying to turn this city up, man. Don't down this shit. Shouts out the hippie circle. Shouts out the hippie circle. Them boys yeah. killing it too. Yeah, for sure. Danny Camilla, that's my fucking dudes. Yeah, they really were a big shit. player in the whole thing. Yeah, what's man. Going I mean, on. bro, if you're doing something positive, keep it up, and you got nothing but love and support for me, man. And yeah. that's off rip. I don't care who you are, cause you know what I mean. At whatever stage you at, I was there. Or I'm about to be there type shit. Mm. So, you know what I mean? Fuck it, man. We all in this shit together. Yeah, make sure you go check Sweet. out all the uh, book, books, and especially Book of Wind just came out. Um, what's the one that has like a couple thousand plays on SoundCloud? It's like with a, it's a feature. Oh, that uh, Cannot Condone? Yeah, they yeah. got a lot of plays. Yeah, yeah. YG, YG Tut was on that. Shout out to him. Uh, he's a rapper from um, Chattanooga. Yeah, he's actually, um, I think he used to mess with uh, Isaiah Rashad. Oh, Still yeah, does, probably, but yeah, no, nah, that, that's uh, who Isaiah Rashad used to run with, him and uh, Chris Kalor. Yeah, shit. Actually, Isaiah Rashad's producer, that's who uh, produced all five of those tracks on uh, Oh, what? On Earth, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, man, he definitely hooked me up coming out here. Well, dope, man. Uh, thank you so much for letting me in your home, me and your kid. Grab a couple drinks and chill, appreciate but uh, yeah, dude, dog. thank you, man. I appreciate hey. it. I appreciate can't wait to see you back in Southwest Florida, bro. You gotta come by uh, Curry HQ, and chill, man, for sure. But uh, all right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, tag somebody.